So you've assembled your PicoCalc and you've got this powerful little pocket computer in your hands. But what's next? The default software is just the beginning. I'm Jay Blinked, stick around and I'll show you how to unlock its true potential. Before we even dive into the main software, let's update the keyboard firmware. This will give you better stability and more features, like controlling the keyboard backlight with code. First, power off the device and take the back cover off. Now, look for a tiny dip switch labeled SW107 right below the SD card. Using a small tool or your fingernail, flip the very first switch to the on position. It's the one closest to the left. This puts the keyboard controller into update mode. Now connect the PicoCalc to your computer using a USB-C cable. And then turn on the PicoCalc. Now you need to download a free tool called STM32 Cube Programmer. I put the link in the description below. Now open the software, select UART as the connection type, and then choose the correct serial port if it's not already. Then hit connect. Now we need to get the correct firmware file from the Clockwork Pi GitHub. There's been some controversy over the 1.4 version, so I recommend downloading the 1.2 version until further notice. Now in the programmer, click open file and select the file you downloaded. Then click open. Lastly, select download. Now disconnect the cable and flip the dip switch back to off. If your PicoCalc won't turn on or if the keyboard is being weird, ensure the batteries are out and then try flashing again. With the hardware updated, let's unlock its true potential. While the default MM Basic is cool, the real magic happens when you install custom firmware using a UF2 file. Like last time, make sure the device is off. Now we are using the micro USB port on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself, not the USB-C port we used for the keyboard firmware. Look through the vents on the back and find the small boot select button on the Pico board. Press and hold that button while plugging the micro USB cable into your Pico and into your computer. Your computer will see the PicoCalc as a new drive. If you're on the Pico or Pico W, it'll say RPI RP2. And if you're on the Pico 2 or Pico 2 W, it'll say RP2350. Now all we'll do is drag and drop the firmware file onto that drive. After that, the device will copy it, automatically eject itself, and reboot with the new firmware. On my awesome PicoCalc repository, I have a list of different firmwares that are ready to go for your PicoCalc. For a great starting point, we will try PicoWare. It's an open firmware that I created that adds modern features like Wi-Fi, games, and other apps which pretty much instantly upgrades your device from a retro calculator to a connected multi-purpose pocket computer. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it. In just a little bit, you've updated your device's core firmware and even installed custom software. You've taken this cool little kit and started making it your own. If this guide was helpful, feel free to subscribe for more PicoCalc projects. I'd love to see what you all build with it, so share your projects in the comments below. In the next video, we're going to take the PicoCalc even further. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.